What's up? I'm Christiane Cordero, and this is the 734 from WCCO. We know most of you are about to head out the door, maybe get to work and bring those sunglasses with you because we're going to see a little bit more of the sun today. Let's get to today's 730 forecast. Uh, chilly breeze by noon today and then possibly some patchy flurries this afternoon is what Riley O'Connor told us this morning. Clouds are going to stick around tonight. It certainly feels a little bit chillier out there than it has been lately, so uh, dress accordingly, I guess. All right, now let's talk about this. Everyone ganged up on Bernie Sanders during the latest Democratic presidential debate in South Carolina, but Mike Bernie Bloomberg didn't Donald get Trump. away unscathed, and Elizabeth Warren struggled to differentiate herself from Sanders. All night, the candidates talked over and interrupted each other, everyone looking to make an impression before South Carolina's primary on Saturday and, of course, Super Tuesday, which is just next week. So we want to know which candidate stood out to you last night uh, there were quite a few of them who kind of went in with the defense and that was apparent and then uh, it was interesting to see what uh, takes Senator Amy Klobuchar had as well of course we know in Minnesota uh, she is seen as a pretty popular candidate there so those watching on Facebook leave a comment right here we'll get through a few of those in a moment now speaking of Senator Amy Klobuchar she did not speak for the first 17 minutes of the debate last night but she still had a few standout moments on stage even trending on Twitter when she said she based her views on gun restrictions on how it affected her quote uncle dick in the deer stand and she got a loud response from the audience when she admonished fellow Democrats for all of the infighting if we spend the next four months okay. tearing our party apart, we're going to watch Donald Trump spend the next four years tearing our country apart. Look. At the end of the debate, each candidate was asked what the biggest misconception was about them. Klobuchar defended her personality. I'd say the biggest, the biggest misconception is that I'm boring, because I'm not. <laughs> um, and then... Klobuchar has two events planned in South Carolina today. You can also learn more about the candidates and find your polling location on our website. It is a comprehensive election guide. Go to WCCO.com slash election guide. Some tragic news out of St. Paul this morning. Uh, police telling us that a woman is dead and a man she knew is in custody on suspicion of murder. Police say officers arrived to a disturbing scene at this apartment on Pierce Street North. They found a man, a young child, and a woman who was gravely hurt. They couldn't save her. The child was taken to the hospital for evaluation. We, of course, will be following uh, this story today. The next time you call 911, <clears throat> excuse me, you might be asked to report your problem online. The St. Paul Police Department wants to free up more officers for emergency calls. To do that, they're asking callers to report certain crimes online instead, like property damage, lost property, or car thefts. The CDC is warning Americans to prepare for the coronavirus right now. The CDC says it is not a matter of if but when the virus will spread here at home. Right now, there are more than 50 confirmed cases in the United States. More than 100 new cases were reported in South Korea overnight, including the first U.S. military soldier. Now, this morning, we talked to this man, Peter Lenz. He's from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, but teaching English in Daegu, South Korea. That's about two hours south of Seoul. It is the epicenter of the outbreak in that country. The government sends out updates via text messages, and right now, it's encouraging the two million people in Daegu to stay indoors unless absolutely Absolutely necessary. When you go outside, very few people that aren't kind of working, their jobs are outside. Um, and it's definitely, a, to, I guess to describe it, eerie. I went for the first time on Sunday. So from Wednesday to Sunday, I was inside the whole time. But then on Sunday, I went to try to find some food, but mainly coffee. I was out of coffee, and I was like, you know what, I can go limited food for a while, but if I don't have coffee, I don't, I don't know what I'll do. Yeah, Peter is keeping his spirits high and described his mom's concern as uh, controlled panic back home in Wisconsin. The coronavirus is also impacting the beginning of the Christian Lent season. At an Ash Wednesday service in the Philippines, Catholics avoided close contacts. Priests sprinkled ash on parishioners, as you can see there, instead of... Uh, putting it directly on their forehead. And take a look at this, a massive fire following an explosion broke out at a California refinery overnight. This is just south of Los Angeles in Carson, California. Flames were shooting 100 feet in the air and the fire even shut down the already notorious 405 freeway. This is the largest refinery on the West Coast. 
no injuries have been reported. With the swipe of a phone, customers can now enter Amazon's new Amazon Go grocery store in Seattle. Is this the grocery store of the future? Looks familiar enough. Produce, meats, beer. Except when you're done, you don't pay a cashier because there aren't any. You simply walk out. Sensors track everything you buy and gets charged to your Amazon account through the app. Amazon has smaller stores with the same concept, but this one is five, uh, five times larger. How does fake meat sound with your morning latte? Hmm. Starbucks is adding Beyond Meat products to its stores in Canada. The company announced this morning it's adding a sandwich with a meat-free patty to its menu. It also comes with egg and cheese. Uh, the company has previously said that it's considering a plant-based patty for the U.S., but it hasn't announced any plans just yet. If you have trouble sleeping on planes, Air New Zealand is trying out this idea. Long flights to New Zealand, right? Well, they just filed a patent for these sleeping pods, which they call economy sky nests. Doesn't that sound so nice and charming? They are six full-length sleeping pods that will be in the middle of the aircraft, allowing passengers a chance to get some rest. The airline says this is still in the testing stage to see if it would take off. No pun intended. Actually, probably pun intended. Uh, and that it could be a good decision for them financially. Now there's a new reality show, uh, check this out. It's for senior citizens looking for love from the producers of The Bachelor. They're looking for men and women in their golden years, that is strictly 65 years of age and older. Applicants have to be legal U.S. residents, active, outgoing, and of course single. So stay tuned for more on that. Let's bring in WCCO's digital guy, uh, Cole. Cole, is that you? Yes. Yeah. And we're not talking about senior citizens on um, the new senior citizen, senior citizen bachelor, but we're instead talking about the debate last night. Yeah. So we want to know what candidates stood out to some of our viewers. What do we have? Uh, yeah, we have um, Eric saying CBS News reports Sanders and Biden led the pack among viewers they polled. We have Bert saying they all screamed and interrupted each other so much. No one stuck out um, and <laughs> they were out of control. And then we have Bob saying, uh, yes, the gloves were off and things are getting nasty. It has to be this way to weed out the low-hanging fruit. Klobuchar is almost done and a few others should join her. Yeah, I know. It's really interesting to see uh, how they are. They each, Klobuchar for sure has the biggest message of, of, of unity of some sorts, yeah. but they've each kind of hit that home uh, that point home before of like, if we stop, if we can't stop bickering, then this is good, really yeah. good for President Donald Trump. And then they continue to bicker. So <laughs> it's really interesting stuff. So, Thanks, Cole. So, appreciate it. Less than a week out from Super Tuesday. That's it for now. This is the 734 from WCCO. When most of the Twin Cities are on the go, so go ahead and make us your pl place for mobile news while you're at it. We'll be back here tomorrow at 734. And until then, enjoy the internet.